Welcome back to my channel Math School. In today's video, let us learn the theorem 2.3 from chapter 2 triangles. In my previous videos, I have completed the theorem 2.1 and 2.2 examples and also the exercises 2.1 and 2.2. If you have not watched these videos, do find the link in the description box below or click the i button above. So now quickly, let us begin with the video. Section 2.4 from chapter 2 triangle is criteria for similarity of triangles. The criteria for similarity of triangles we have already studied in the introduction part of this chapter. If we have two triangles such as ABC and DEF and if we have to prove that these two triangles are similar then we had stated that two triangles are similar if the corresponding angles are equal and the corresponding sides are in same ratio or same proportion, right? So in this triangle ABC and DEF, if angle A is equal to angle D and angle B is equal to angle E and angle C is equal to angle F and also their corresponding sides are in same proportion, okay? Corresponding sides are AB and DE. So AB by DE e proportion must be equal to bc by ef and ac by df okay if these two criteria are met then we can say that the two triangles are similar symbolically we can write the similarity of these two triangles as triangle abc is similar to triangle def if you recall, we also had studied criteria for congruency of two triangles. Here, these two triangles are congruent if corresponding angles are equal and the corresponding sides are equal. Okay, for the two triangles to be congruent, the angles must be equal and the sides must be also be equal. If this AB is 3 centimeters, DE also must be 3 centimeters. Similarly, BC must be equal to EF and AC must be equal to DF. Only then you can say that these two triangles are congruent. This is the symbol to represent the congruency. Okay, so triangle ABC is congruent to triangle DPQ. Now let us learn the theorem which says that if the corresponding corresponding angles are equal, the corresponding sides are also will be equal to prove these two triangles are similar. So now let us learn the theorem 2.3. Theorem 2.3 from chapter 2 triangle says, if in two triangles corresponding angles are equal, then the corresponding sides are in same ratio or proportion and hence two triangles are similar. Consider two triangles ABC and DEF. So here in the statement they are saying that the corresponding angles are equal. The corresponding angles A is equal to angle D, then angle B is equal to angle E and angle C is equal to angle F. So now we have to prove the corresponding sides that is AB by DE is equal to BC by EF and AC by DF and hence the two triangles are similar. So first of all let us see what is given and what we have to prove. So they have given us two triangles ABC and DEF such that angle A is equal to angle D, angle B is equal to angle E and angle C is equal to angle F. So first you have to write down what is given in the statement and then next we will see what we have to prove. So to prove triangle ABC is similar to triangle DEF. How we have to prove? We have to prove this by showing AB by DE that is the ratio of proportion of the corresponding sides that is AB by DE is equal to BC by EF and that is equal to AC by DF. Then we can say that the triangle ABC is similar to triangle DEF, right? So to prove this, we have to do a small construction. Here we cannot use the similarity criteria to prove that a triangle ABC is similar to triangle DEF. So we here we will be using a congruency criteria to prove triangle ABC is similar to triangle DEF. So for that let us do a small construction. So the construction is cut DP equal to AB. So we have to mark a point P such that DP is equal to AB and we have to mark a point DQ on the side DF such that DQ will be equal to AC and then we have to join those two points P and Q. So we will have a point 
P on the side DE such that the side of the first triangle AB will be equal to DP and AC will be equal to DQ. So this is the construction part. Now let us see how to prove this theorem. Write down in triangle ABC and triangle DPQ. Okay, after the construction, this becomes a triangle. So, we are considering the triangles ABC and DPQ. We can say that angle A is equal to angle D. That is already given. In the given, if you see, angle A is equal to angle D. So, let us write down in triangle ABC and triangle DPQ. PQ, we can say that angle A is equal to angle D. That is given. Now by construction here you can say AB is equal to DP. Now from the construction you can see that the side AB is equal to DP and the side AC is equal to DQ. Okay, so let us write down that DP is equal to AB and dq is equal to ac so this you can say by construction now you can observe that we got a side ab and this side dp is equal then the angle a is equal to angle d and the side ac is equal to this side dq here we can say that the triangle abc is congruent to triangle dpq by SAS criteria, right? So write down, therefore, triangle ABC is congruent to triangle DPQ by SAS criteria, that is side angle side criteria. Now, since these two triangles are congruent, then the corresponding angles will also be congruent, that is angle B will be congruent to angle P, okay? This we can say by corresponding part of congruent triangle. Okay, corresponding part of congruent triangle will be equal. That is the angle B is equal to angle P. So write down therefore angle B is equal to angle P. This is by corresponding part of congruent triangles are equal. Okay, this criteria also you have learned in your previous classes where you learned the con congruency topic, right? So now you can observe here, we are saying that angle B is equal to angle P, but already what is given angle B is equal to angle E. That is already given in our theorem, right? So let this be equation number one. So now we can say angle B is equal to angle E that is given. So let this be equation number two. So from 1 and 2, we can say that angle P is equal to angle E because B is equal to these two angles. So we can say that the angle P is equal to angle E. So write down angle P is equal to angle E. So this angle P is equal to angle E. You have also learned in your previous classes that if two lines are parallel and we have a transversal through these two parallel lines, say these lines are LM and PQ. If these two lines are parallel, we can say that the corresponding angles are equal. Okay, so angle 1 is equal to angle 2, right? And the converse is also possible if we have a transversal passing through two lines and if the corresponding angles are equal, then we can say that these two lines are parallel. Okay, so let me write down the first condition is if LM is parallel to PQ, then the corresponding angles are equal. Angle 1 is equal to angle 2. And the converse of this, if we have the corresponding angles, the angle 1 is equal to angle 2, then we can say that these two lines are parallel. LM is parallel to PQ. Okay, these are the two criteria for corresponding angles. So here again, if you consider PQ and EF to be two parallel lines and, and PE be the transversal, then we can say that if angle P and angle E are corresponding angles, PQ is parallel to EF. Okay, so therefore write down, therefore PQ is parallel to EF. The reason is by corresponding angles criteria. 
So now since the line PQ is parallel to EF, we can apply the basic proportionality theorem that if a line is parallel to the third side and intersecting the other two sides of a triangle, then it divides the other two sides in equal proportion that is DP by PE is equal to DQ by QF and also the corollary we had also learned that is from example 1. We can also say that DP by DE is equal to DQ by QF, right? So let us apply that corollary of the basic proportionality theorem and write down the ratio. So write down by basic proportionality theorem. In the brackets, I will write down corollary. So if we apply the basic proportionality theorem corollary, we get dp by de is equal to dq by df. dq by df. So now if you observe from the construction part we had written down that dp is equal to ab and dq is equal to ac so let us substitute here dp is equal to ab and dq is equal to ac so write down dp let us substitute dp is equal to ab and dq is equal to ac by construction okay if we substitute we are going to obtain ab by de is equal to AC by DF, right? So if you look at what we had to prove, we have already proved here AB by DE is equal to AC by DF. Here they have given CA, AC and CA are both same. So it is CA by DF. So these two things we have already proved. So now we have to prove that AB by DE is equal to BC by EF also. Okay, so we have proved two sides that is AB by DE is equal to AC by DF we have already proved now we have to prove the third side that is BC by EF ratio is also equal so for this again we can draw this PQ parallel to the side DF and same procedure should be followed again to be proof that AB by DE is equal to BC by EF so instead of proving again the whole thing just we will write similarly we can say that Similarly, we can say that AB by DE is equal to BC by EF. Okay, so now if you see, let this be equation number 3 and this be equation number 4. So if you observe that AB by DE is equal to AC by DF and AB by DE is equal to BC by EF, right? So if these two are equal, then we can say that AB by DE is e equal to AC by DF and also it is equal to BC by EF. So therefore, from 3 and 4, we can say that AB by DE is equal to AC by DF and that is equal to BC by EF. So if you look at here, this is what we had to prove. AB by DE is equal to BC by EF and that is equal to AC by DF. So hence we have proved that the three sides of the, both the triangles are in equal proportion. Therefore, we can write down triangle ABC is similar to triangle DEF. Hence proved. Okay, so this is how we have to solve the theorem 2.3. Hopefully you have understood this proof. If you have any further doubts, you can do comment me below in the comment section. In my next video, I'll be taking up theorem 2.4 and 2.5. Even though these theorems are not there in your portion for this year, we will just go through these theorems so that it will be easier for you to solve your exercise problem. So till then, do like my video and subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the bell button below to get the latest updates of my videos as I'll be completing the whole syllabus for class 10th SLC insert math. And also do watch the related videos shown on the screen related to the same chapter.